Hello, welcome to Kama's Court. It's me, Kama, obviously. To know more about me and what this channel is going to be about, keep on watching. Welcome. All right, so I found these get to know questions on Google, get to know me question on Google. I'm gonna answer some and then I'm gonna come up with my own. All right, where did I grow up? I grew up in Eleuthera, Bahamas, North Eleuthera, Blackwood. Feel me? Shout out to all my souls. <laughs> and shout out to all my Bahamian friends too. Um, yeah, I grew up on an island in the Bahamas, really small, narrow island, you feel me? Everybody know everybody. But yeah. Where do you currently live? I live in Orlando, Florida. How tall are you? I'm 5'7". I'm tall. I'm really tall. What year were you born? 96. Oh, these questions are lame. But 96, I'm 22. My birthday is in like a month or two, November. Um, I keep moving around because I'm trying to get comfortable. What's your favorite drink? Water? Does water count? Um, back to these. I did not just pick my nose on camera. You know you do it. Your mama, your girlfriend, your daddy, your bestie. They do it too. Um, I'm Haitian. My parents are Haitian. Yes, I speak Creole. You feel me? I understand. Whatever. Talking shit. Um, I currently I have a full time job because you know I need money. Um, cut the crap. I'm gonna go right back to the questions because I don't even know what to say. Um. Do you speak any languages and how well? I already said that. I speak Creole. Haitian Creole because it's a lot of Creoles. What's your idea of a dream date? Okay. Um, I like romantic, thoughtful stuff for me. Like, let's say, like, nighttime. Or late afternoon going on a nighttime type of date. Um, like outside, of course. Like with a blanket laid out, you feel me? Food, because I like to eat Chinese food. Um, and just lay on the blanket outside and just talk and cuddle and stuff. That would be like the perfect date. But, like, but then again, I also like going out during the day because, you feel me? I like being in the sun. My melanin shows. You feel me? And I like to take pictures. So, um, probably like a brunch date. Doesn't matter where, but like it's like my ideal. So yeah, that first one, like laid out at nighttime, just talking, cuddling. You feel me outside with food. That's romantic enough for me. I like romance olden days like yeah um how would you describe your fashion sense i would describe my fashion sense as in i wear whatever the fuck i want or what i like i wear what i like but nine times out of ten if you see me on a regular day i have on a t-shirt and some shorts, not some shorts, some tights, like the biker tights, shorts, you know what I'm talking about. Um, or, if you see me out, most likely I have on a skirt or a dress. I have a lot of dresses. I barely own jeans. I have like two pairs. Um, yeah. Tight, form-fitting for me. That's what I like. Um, your go-to hairstyle. Uh, right now it's like a low sleek bun for my natural hair. That's my go-to. And I wear wigs. So yeah. What is your go-to fast food order? Uh, Chick-fil-A, of course. 
the number two spicy chicken deluxe with um three chicken strips i know it's the same chicken but i don't know i just like chicken strips and the chicken the chicken sandwich um your most memorable vacation memory i would say when i went to haiti i probably need to speak louder oh my god but yeah i would say when i went to haiti with my parents that was the most memorable yes um like four years ago we went to haiti four or five years ago um we did like probably a week i think a week there a week and a half and it was just you know very humbling experience and like when i tell you the food was bomb the food was good i don't know what kind of ippies they put in their food down there or what i don't know what it is it's just bomb awesome the best food i've ever had hands down and it was hot i like hot but yeah it was hot but i loved it you feel me the only thing i did not like at wait two things that i didn't like at all is the bus ride because you know it's only basically one international airport and it's in port au prince the capital so that bus ride and i live like Port de Pair, which is like all the way across. So that bus ride, bumpy, and then the be like the the benches in the bus. You know how they have cushions? Those didn't have cushion. It was just the plywood. The uh, it was just horrible. And what's the other thing? Oh yeah, and it was hot as hell. And yeah, there was no AC. I don't even like AC like that, but it was that kind of hot. But yeah. Um, what are do you have any bad habits? Um bad habits? No. What are those? I don't know. I have no idea if I have any. Nothing is coming to my head right now. What's your favorite Netflix show? Orange is the new black, period. And Grey's Anatomy period those two are my favorite shows on netflix and i'm sad because i just finished grace and no i just finished um orange is the new black and it's like what the fuck are y'all just gonna just stop making them like what am i supposed to do in my life watch it over um what theme parks have you been to well I work at Universal, so. But, yeah, Universal and Disney. That's it. Let's see, world. Yeah. Um, what was your dream job as a kid? I wanted to be a preschool teacher. Because I like to boss the kids around. No, just kidding. I just like interacting with kids. You know, I love kids. And, you know, how they always ask so many questions. And they're just so cute you know yeah and I would always be teaching kids something whether it was at church or just you know what um as kids we used to play with dolls or whatever I used to play the mean teacher with other kids yep have you moved from home where to and how was the experience? Yes, I moved to America. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole nother story for a whole nother video for a whole nother day. Feel me? All I'm gonna say is America is totally different than what I was used to and what I thought it would be like. I'm gonna say that. Um, good and bad. Um, it's just when you grow up on a small island where everybody know each other, people have manners, and it's just, and you come to America and it's just like, what the, why everybody eats so rude, and it's just, it's totally different. Don't get me wrong, people are rude over there too, but it's just, it's just a different kind of rude. <laughs> yeah. But, it have a lot of ups, I mean a lot of good too.
was my celebrity crush. Everybody knows this. It's Safari, like. Oh, he's so fine. Hallelujah. He's fine. He's chocolate. He's funny. His personality is what. Mm. Yeah. So far. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just like him for some reason. For all those reasons I just said. And he's such a romantic guy. Like, like. Like, he be buying his girl flowers all the time and surprising her and stuff. I like that kind of shit, you feel me? Don't know why they do that nowadays. They just don't. And, um, you should. Because it's really nice and thoughtful. I'd rather you, you know, buy me a rose than to buy me whatever else. Because it's like, nobody never buy me no rose. And... For you to buy me a rose, you would have to like go to a store, see flowers, and then you gotta pick out which flower you think I would like to me, and then buy it and bring it to me. Whereas, if you just bring me food or something, or I don't know, I don't know, it's just the thought, you feel me? And it's like, that's so sexy to me, and man. What do you do in your free time? I sleep, I eat, I sleep. And I eat. Oh, and I chill with my cousins. Yeah. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is yellow. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have three sisters and my brother. Shout out to my sisters and my brother. I love y'all. Yeah. Do you know your personality type? What is it? No. They have yet to discover my type. Um, what are your favorite values and friends? Um, just basically being there when I most need you. Like, feel me? That's what I value most in anybody. Like, just like being there if I really needed you. Like, you know? I feel like when it comes to people. Um, I always give them the benefit of the doubt and I'm always genuine until you give me a reason not to be you know so it's like I want you to have that same energy towards me and if it's not that then then I don't need to be a friend I don't I don't for me so it just gotta be there for me and I'll be there for you too but yeah what social media are you addicted to simple easy Instagram yeah, Instagram. What's the biggest struggle you overcame? Coming and staying in America without my mother and father. For me, basically, um, yeah, basically being on my own, living on my own, like literally, yeah, that's the biggest struggle that I have overcame and I'm overcoming basically being responsible for myself and like having to think for me not think for myself because I've always done that but it's just like not having someone to like oh mom I'm hungry mommy I'm hungry can you make me some food mommy here baby you better make it yourself or do what you gotta do because you know that type of thing or that's a bad example laundry I hate doing laundry when my mom's here she just do my laundry for me feel me when my mom's not here and I gotta do my own laundry it's like oh shit see mm. don't let my mom see this video anyways yes it's just it's not having that comfort zone that you've been used to you know so yeah um what are you happiest with in your life I'm happy with myself, with my heart, you know. I feel like I always look at the bright side and not everybody can do that. And, um, yeah, I always see the good or think of the good in every situation instead of, like, being feeling sorry for myself or being depressed or whatever, mad at everybody for whatever happened to me. I just feel like I always look on the bright side. 
or think of the good in every situation instead of like being feeling sorry for myself or being depressed or whatever mad at everybody for whatever happened to me i just feel like i always look on the bright side mm -hmm. you are going out with friends describe your night first of all let's say we said we was going out at 11 we all, we leave the house at one <laughs> oh, sure we go um and then we're probably at this point somebody's mad at somebody because somebody took too long whatever the case may be and then we get to where we're going shit don't work out shit never nothing never goes as planned and uh then we have a good time and we come back home yeah at the end okay This channel, oh, first of all, it's, it's Kama's Court because, oh, thanks to my cousins for helping me, um, with the name. I think I came up with that one, they just picked it. I put, I came up with a lot and they just, um, basically helped me decide which name to go with. And Kama's Court, most of them picked that, um, because this is my court. I am the judge. I'm the boss. So you do what I say. You feel me? Period. Yeah, poo. Yeah, mm hmm. Um, yeah, and it's cute. CC, Thomas Court. Uh, yeah. Um, this channel, I wanted to concentrate on people's interactions with each other. You know, like example, couples. I want to um, interview couples, not interview, but more like, you know, get their point of view on, um, you know, what it's like in their relationship, or and like try to get advice. And like everybody's story is different, and that's I like watching those type of videos of like just genuine, real people talking about real life shit. You know. So yeah, that's basically what this is going to be about. And then occasionally, if I want to, I'm going to do a video on whatever I want to do a video about. Um, yeah, so I didn't think I would do this. I always wanted to do YouTube, but I thought I just wanted to you know, be in front of the camera and talk. Not talk, but like do stuff. But I don't know. I just decided to, to do that instead and we'll see how it goes. Um, not just couples, like, I want to do everybody, like, a father and son, mother and daughter, daughter, father and daughter, whatever the case may be, brothers and sisters, like, just, like, people's interaction with, with each other and, like, um, just their relationships, you know, advice they would give on what to do or what not to do or how to go about certain things. Just, you know, like, picking people's brain. So, basically, I'm going to be behind the camera. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, I want you to please stop what you're doing and go like, comment, and subscribe, and share. Okay? Send it to your mama, your daddy, your cousin, your uncle. Even your baby daddy who in jail. Okay? Everybody. Send it to them so they can watch. And, um, shout out to love for basically... Look at my shadow. Shout out to love for basically, basically I hold in my hand throughout this whole process. Girl, you a real motherfucking MVP, you feel me? She the real MVP, okay? Love, Shama. Her name rhymes with my name, so I think that's why we get along, lol. But, um, yes, thank you, girl. I owe you forever and ever, forever. Uh, I hope that this video was recording all this time and I didn't just waste my time and um, I wish it's not blurry I hope it's not blurry and uh, <laughs> bear with me be nice it's my first video or whatever follow me on Instagram like all my pictures for me and whatnot my Instagram is foreign dot comma and yes my name is Kama, C-A-M-A, but my name is Oshkama. 
but just call me Kama because you can't pronounce what I just said anyways. But yes. Um, foreign.com. It's going to be in the description box. LOL. I feel like a YouTuber. <laughs> Everything will be in the description box. The links. The link will be in the description box. And I have my tongue. It's red because I've been drinking some powerade. So yeah. So. Okay, bye for now. Bye. My life, I've been struggling, that's why I come up in this bitch with a